My name's Tom Dore and I am the Vice President of the British Esports Federation. My role here at British Esports is linked to everything to do with education and young people and community. I've been involved here at British Esports pretty much since the start when it was established back in 2016. I'm the guy who was responsible for essentially setting up the, the champs, the student champs that we know now, that we now have 700, over 700 teams playing on a Wednesday after school. I also led the development of the BTEC, all the BTEC qualifications that happen in schools and colleges. I was responsible for leading that. To be a good leader means you have to be able to adapt yourselves to different situations. To be able to adapt the way in which you interact with people, the way you speak with people, the way you work with people. These require skills of teamwork, of communication, problem solving, of strategic thinking. To be able to work together as a team is a critical part of leadership. To be able to enable a team, lots of different people with lots of different strengths, lots of different skills, to enable them to work together and to achieve together is a significant skill of leadership. And that's not always easy to do. You have to adapt, you have to amend, you have to look at the strengths of different people, you have to look at the weaknesses of different people and bring them together. To be a good leader requires you to bring different skills together from different people. Some people may have strengths in some areas, other people will have strength strength in a different area. The strength of a real team and to be a strong leader is to be able to recognize those different skill sets and to be able to bring those individuals together to work together, to work together as a team towards a common shared goal. Communication is vital for to be a good leader, to be a strong leader, to be able to express what you want to happen and how you want it to how you want it to happen about how you can communicate well with other individuals to bring them into the conversations to make them feel part of what you are doing to make them feel part of the team because one person doesn't have the answers to everything the strongest teams are where you build with skills from everybody and a strong leader is the person who's able to bring all those different skill sets together as a leader your role it will involve a lot of problem solving. Things don't always go well. Things don't always go as you hoped. And almost that's where you learn the most lessons about your leadership and about what you're doing is when things don't actually go right. How, why didn't they go right? And what do you need to do to put those things right? Um, things don't all go, always go smoothly. And that's where you know as a strong team you're working well, where things don't go right, but you all pull together to make it happen. Okay, if you don't, uh, if you don't, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay, that, that's critical as part of a leader and as part of, um, as part of a team. Showing resilience when things don't go well is equally as important as when you get things right the first time and when you celebrate that success. It's equally as important to celebrate the success when things don't go right the first time, the second time, the ninth or tenth time. However, when you do succeed, resilience, and when you do succeed, the celebration feels so much better. There's a very famous ice hockey player who said, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. That's a critical lesson in leadership. If you don't try, you don't succeed. If you don't take a risk, you're never gonna know. And the most courageous leaders are those that have a go and try and are not afraid to fail, that are not afraid, afraid to fail. But that confidence, that self-confidence shouldn't go too far when it, when it verges in arrogance. To be a strong leader, to want others to follow you, to enable others to follow you as a leader, you have to be confident in terms of your vision and what you want, but humble at the same time. Even the wisest minds have something yet to learn. Every leader doesn't know everything. A leader doesn't know everything. Everybody has something um, to learn that they can still learn and learn from other people around them, to bring people together with them as part of a team and utilize those skills. So my advice to any individual starting on a leadership journey, thinking about leadership, is to really think about who you want to be. How do you want to be um, viewed by other people as a leader? What is your approach? Do you want to be the person that stands at the front and just tells everybody what to do? Or do you want to be the person that listens to other people, listens to their viewpoints and brings everybody together as a team? I was once told um, by a wise man in the Middle East that we have one of these and two of these and use them in that um, proportion. Listen more than you speak. If you do that as a leader and you're listening to other people, you're listening to other viewpoints and you're using that to shape your own 
uh, vision, then that is a strong place to start.